You're good. No, you're good. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm I'm good. I was trying to uh, I was trying to reach my uh, doctor's office because they were supposed to send a prescription for some ointment I'm supposed to put on my hip, and I they didn't. And anyway, it's fine. It'll I mean, it'll sort of. Okay. Out. Do you need to take care of that? Or are you? I mean, no, I, no, no. no. I, there's nobody there, so I'm just going to email them. They want yeah. nothing until Monday anyway. So. So what have you got there? What you got oh, there? I, well, I, I was just playing your Wilson Pickett that you said. Oh, great. Oh, How are you cool. doing? How is your week going, Dad? How is your... It's all It's all been okay. Um, yeah. It's all been okay. Yeah. I, uh, I, had, a, I had some midweek panic over the... Um, and it's kind of interesting. The, the permission... You know, I have a lot of illustrations in in this new yes. bit of the new book, and I have to get permissions, and it's not really my job to do that. But my right. public doesn't even know they're the biggest in the world; they don't seem to be able to know how to do that. But I realize it's also complicated by the fact that I've taken quite a lot of images off the internet, right? And so, um. And and if you use if you use an art the image of an artist who's living or recently dead, um, not only do you have to have the image the permission from whoever took the photograph or owns the work or the photograph, right. you need the permission of the artist, which is which is of course that's fine. Sure, sure. But they're not always reachable. That's the problem. Right. And I'm mine are, you know, I've chosen a couple of pretty obscure ones. Well. One, one who's very, very well known in the NFT world and is all over the internet, but apparently it doesn't have, can't be read. In other words- Is that Bored Ape? No, no, her name is Blake Catherine, which oh. is, and I, I'm not sure, I mean, it's obviously a real name, but it's not Catherine Blake, it's Blake Catherine with a Y-N. And right, sure. We finally tried to reach her by Instagram because she, I mean, she has yeah. a website that doesn't function. She right. has entities being dropped by a lot of different companies, but they don't seem to be able to. Sure. Be no. I, yeah. Yeah. No. It, that world. Is so, yeah. so yesterday, I found out. Yesterday morning, I found out because I I told the publisher, look, you got to talk to your lawyers because there's got to be a way mm -hmm. around this. And apparently now, now they told me at the last minute that there there is there is a if 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 you use if you use an image as as quote unquote a quote and you talk about it right no um, okay yes yeah yeah I didn't know this right so if you talk about it it's okay right <laughs> But it's, so, yes. so I had to go back in a couple of places and elaborate on, I mean, I had used it's the what image, you say. It's not just talk yeah. about it, but in a specific yeah. or I had used the image as simply as an example of this artist's work, not right. to talk about the image, but to say, this is what they do. So this time I've had to be more elaborate in the, in the case of, Blake Catherine, if she's watching or, or listening, I have to warn you that what I say is not entirely positive, but I do I do describe it and I do discuss it. So, right. and and is that what? Well, that well, that's interesting. Not just for this, but for the law in general. And if people get to vet things, do they then get to vet usage based on whether they like the content yeah. or not. And that's a very interesting for editorializing, for being able well, to I comment on that. something. What? There are a couple of occasions where we we are in touch with the artists. Yes. And they have asked 
to see the context, sure, which is fine. Sure. And I've sent them the pages of the page where they and the work are mentioned. And whenever I've done that, uh, well, I've actually those are the people I've been complimenting either just simply descriptive or complimentary about. Mm -hmm. um, one in particular, I was too, well, two, I was, I was concerned about one, uh, both of them African-American artists, one David Hammonds and the other Glenn Ligon. And both of them are pretty um, out, they've been very outspoken. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and so uh, I was very glad that both of them obviously approved of the context of what I said about them or about their work to allow sure. me to use the work. Sure. So th that actually alone is a bit of a relief. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's, th there's always a last minute, you know, rush, but I'm, I'm managing it. It's, it's okay, it's okay. I, what I'm missing right now, I guess, or maybe I missed today because I had a program meeting also was East Hampton's first pride parade, oh. which, is, which is quite amazing that this is amazing. This is the first. It is kind of amazing. I mean, I, well, yeah, well, but you got to start somewhere. No, I am right after this. I'm going to a pride in the park event. I mean, Seattle is like all month long and I mean, it's, it's a, uh, yeah, yeah I'm sure. There'll yeah. be things all, yeah, but, yeah. Hey, Duke, jump on up. Um, Agatha, oh, they're dead. They're lying on all the dogs. Dog. Are is it dog time? They're playing dead. <laughs> I took them for a long walk, and we met a turkey oh. in the middle of the of the walk, and and there was a Mexican standoff. They yeah. all stared at each other for a long time, and then the dogs took off to the turkey, and the turkey flew away. So, uh, so our our and I joke about this on our on on our farm. The chickens are actually the apex predator. The dogs and the cat are all afraid of the chickens because the chickens hang out on the doorstep, and so they all. It's like <laughs> almost like a video game, and the chickens will just almost peck at anyone. And I mean, I try and kind of shoo them away if I'm letting the dogs out. But yeah, I, I mean, I get a lot of video and I post it of like dog versus chicken, and it is. It's like a standoff. Chickens <laughs> win though. On on this on this they, yeah. Um, but out and about crows, especially Daisy, and I don't know why she's a primarily black dog, but she goes after crows. He goes after little birds, like sparrows and things. They do go after <laughs> birds, but the chickens, I, I don't know. So they're scared of the, it's funny yeah, to see. That's um, very but the, also the, the, yeah, no, the pyramid of our household is weird because the cat also, she takes swipes at both the dogs and they, they, they count, they run from her rather than so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's all about respect, right? Um, yeah, yeah. So, so what's up with you? Yeah, no, I, yeah, I, uh, I'm trying to remember. I had a good week. It was a short week. Work was fine. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just even. I'm trying to think um, what's going on in the world. Oh, okay. I have a new show for you. Um, okay. You don't have to worry about writing it down because I'm going to send it to you. I, okay. I, I'm going to, because I found it. I, I found, okay. So much like the other thing I found, uh, much like um, Copper, I found it on Roku. I only found one channel for free because it's on Cinemax. And so I don't have, I'm not going to pay for the streaming. Yeah. Okay. This is a 2014 show produced by Steven Soderbergh called The Nick. It is also set in 19 it's set in 1900 the year 1900 it is new york city it stars clive owen as a doctor ah. um it ran for two seasons i think one of the issues where i'm like what is why didn't this become more popular it's very gory i think that's what they were going for because it's cinematic they're like it's so there's a lot of doctor go i don't know i don't know i don't watch a lot of medical shows so i don't know what is what they show now but you know blood splattering and things yeah. that's not my favorite part of it so, okay, so in just the first episode, and again, this again, back to Copper. Um, so it's 1900s, it's New York, it's race relations. So in the first episode, he's the he gets promoted to the head doctor because the doctor before him, who was uh, some, I think, morphine addict, who also got him addicted to morphine before he shot himself. Um, I'm sorry, content warning for, yeah, suicide reference. Um, he shot himself. So 
that's this is all just the first episode. Now he's been promoted to head doctor. This is Clive Owen, and they want him, the board of the hospital, want him to hire as his second a black surgeon who's been in Europe, who's very, very talented. Okay. He doesn't want to hire this person. Um, yeah, no, that's it. That's the show. I mean, that's, you know, so. This is my cup of tea. Yeah, it yeah. ran for two seasons. I found them on DVD because I don't have Cinemax. I'm, I ordered copies. I will send you your copies when they arrive. Okay. Um, and then we can watch and discuss. Um, that's, that's great. I definitely do that. I'm, yeah. Currently, um, I'm back to back with um, two Belgian crime dramas. Mm -hmm. One called The Day, which has 12 episodes, although it takes place in one day. Right. And it's about a bank heist with hostages. Okay. That's, but yeah. each, each episode, the first episode is from the point of view of of the police and the people outside. The sure. second episode is inside, and then it goes on like that. Yeah, so they yeah, yeah. alternate episodes from. So and you see, you see sometimes the same exchange. Yes. No. Yeah. From, yeah, yeah. Oh. This yeah. Sounds so good. No, I, I'm it's already very, very good. And then yeah. I'm also watching uh, one called Blackout, which is also oh. Belgian, which is where the the prime minister of the, the female prime minister of Belgium's daughter has been kidnapped and, and the entire nation has been plunged into darkness. And she is, she receives a message and a photo, you know, image of her daughter being kidnapped saying, don't turn the lights on. Right. Okay. And okay. Want no, your okay. Daughter to live. Yeah. So yeah, she yeah. is caught between, and there's, and there's a whole issue of nuclear power in Brussels. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you know. So, and it, it it goes way beyond that to, uh, uh, um, uh, what what do you call it? Um, nuclear waste going to the Kurds. But the 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 problem for me is that. I think there's a shortage of actors in Belgium because <laughs> the, 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 the handsome-ish detective who is the confidant of the prime minister, right. who is the hero of Blackout, right. turns right. out to be, well, I don't want to spoil it for you, but he's no. a hostage, he's a hostage in 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 the day and it's possible that he's in in with the crooks so <laughs> right yeah yeah, yeah 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 and he hasn't even bothered to change his beard or anything so okay well here's the thing just in okay so in very very mainstream media um i can't remember okay so stranger things i don't watch netflix i don't own netflix i watch previous seasons of stranger things i don't care but it's back but people care um but david harbour plays his character currently on stranger things is in a russian prison and this is just a i guess coincidence but also just being topical on whatever marvel movie he's currently on his character is also in a russian prison so from oh. the set of that he he sent photographs to the people on stranger things just to make sure they didn't look too much alike <laughs> because you know you, you gotta keep it separate if you're gonna but that i mean I, I guess, you know, I mean, it's, I, I, you know, going back to 24 and it, when you were talking about the day, I was thinking about 24, you know, things being sequential. Yes, yes, yeah. Lots I like of it. things were set in Russian prisons on that show. So it's yes. not, you don't have to be topical. That's like 10, 20 years old, but it's a, it's a very strong coincidence that the same character on two different things, the same actor. And that's America. That and he's one of the biggest paid. Him. So it's it, it may not be a shortage of actors. It's a shortage of creativity or a shortage of. <laughs> I know. Yeah. No. I don't know. Um, okay. Speaking of Marvel and very big budget, I finally finished. I think you and I started it twice. Spider-Man: Far From Home. That's the second Spider-Man where he goes to Europe on a school trip, and Jake Gyllenhaal is a bad guy. And yes. I, yes. I finally finished it. That's that's neither here nor there. Um, but, but did you, 
Yeah, but that that's the penultimate one. That's the one before last. Right? Yeah, the last one I hear is very, very good. I still I have that on really? the okay. library. That's no comment. No way no. home. Yeah, no, no, no spoilers, no whatever. No spoilers. Uh, okay. And then if I let's, if put, let's put it this way. I un, I understood 85% of of the one you just saw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I understood it. and that's good for me. Yeah, that's yeah, good. yeah. Uh, I know, no, I know. Do, yeah, Doctor Strange. I mean, people say they're good. People say you need to watch them. I yeah. Um, okay, I will give one other recommendation, and this one is also from the Roku. So if you do have access to Roku, um, yeah, I do. I have Roku. Okay, um, Swimming with Sharks. Um, this is. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's based on a 1994 movie. It's Hollywood. It is. In the movie, it was all men, but in, 19, in this one, it's all it's women. It's about producers. It's about power and dynamics in Hollywood. It brings in sort of Me Too and those. Oh, okay. not over. It's um, Donald Sutherland plays the old racist um, studio owner who they're just kind of waiting to. They want to change things. He doesn't oh. want foreign investments. He want, which it's interesting because he's kind of right. He wants an American studio, but also he uses racist language. But all, no, it's it's layer. I like it. I don't know. It's called swimming with That's sharks. Interesting because Hollywood was Hollywood was created by 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 mostly Jewish immigrants. <laughs> well, yes, no, yeah, yeah, and that's yes. Um, no, it, anyway, it's a short run series. It's twelve. I'm sorry, not 12. It's six. It's only six episodes. They're an hour long. Um, Kathleen Robertson, who is, or I know her from Beverly Hills 90210. She's formerly an actress. She became a writer and producer. She actually went through like the Writers Guild of America, like showrunners program after okay. she experienced a, well, I don't, it's not even about her. It's not about her experience. It's, it's no, it's just a good show about Hollywood. And yeah, so that's my pick. But no, I guess I've been watching and then I've been watching like 90s and 2000s sitcoms. It's, I've been really into escapism, I guess. Are we, we're not even talking about things in the world. Is there anything going on in the world you want to talk about, you need to talk about? Well, well to continue this theme, I, 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 I went, I, I won't say reluctantly, I went, I went willingly to see Downton Abbey mm -hmm. in the theaters. Oh, yeah. Um, because I was with two ardent fans of Downton Abbey. <laughs> I, sure. I had, I had, I had watched the series until I got exhausted by it. <laughs> so I kind of got to the first World War. So I, th this is the second movie. Although they continue from the is series. That it's not the. It's the first theatrical one, though, right? Or no, I think it's the second one. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not. I think all right, I'm not up on Downton Abbey. Sorry. Yeah. So, so, so I, it actually didn't. It didn't require a great deal of of catch up. They shouldn't. I mean, if it's a theater, they. I mean, although although I did notice that there is a new a new wife of somebody who mm -hmm. is probably mixed race. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's happened in the meantime. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I did actually enjoy it because, and I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but, but the, 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 a big part of it is when it's 1929 and they rent, they rent Downton Abbey to a film crew who come in to make a silent movie and the family's still there. Oh, okay. Yeah. They, yeah, they yeah. do it because they need some money. And yeah, so, yeah, they, yeah. so that was actually quite, you know that, that I wondered how are they going to make this more oh, interesting? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that is, I, yeah, that's sick of the butler and the the maid and the. <laughs> but and right. Maggie, but Maggie Smith is worth it for Maggie Smith. Oh, but, of course. Oh, <laughs> always. Oh, always. Yes. <laughs> uh, she, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. N always, Maggie Smith. Um, no, but that also that again though that makes me think of like sort of our last summers at Johnny's place and and yeah. Like, yeah, I, you know, which uh, this is summer. It's, it's it's now officially summer. Summer, ha happy summer. We can talk about. That. I mean, that's something that happened. It's officially summer. How are your garden? How are, are you growing? Well, the garden's anything? pretty good. We 
we have uh, some construction going on mm. at the pool house and um, it's fine, it's coming along, but but it means there's a, uh, my, my, my view, do you see my view? Mm -hmm. Mickey's, do you see Mickey's uh, tip, the cart there? Yes. Okay, so uh, that's fine. I think they should empty it now though. Uh, <laughs> you know, I might mention they should empty it. Um, but, but I'm seeing my peonies for the first time because I'm not going to Art Basel. And, and every oh. year when I go to Art Basel, yes. The peonies live and die, yeah. and they did when I got back. So I'm enjoying them. They're just beginning to bloom. So my azaleas. I finally learned what the flowers on my property are. They're azaleas. I have well, I have roses growing in through my neighbor's fence. They're not mine, but the, the I, I feel bad because actually all the flowers are on my side, but the roots are on their side. But those are may or may not. Some of them are roses. I can't tell. Some of them have thorns, and some of them don't. That's the whole thing. But I have azaleas in out front, and they're just dropping their. But I mean, they're pink. They're a, they're a blossom. I an azalea. I, I'm very bad with flowers. I mean, I know a few, but I don't. I, know. Well, okay, I'll I'll show it if I can. It, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can even see. They're just yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. No, I see them very well. Okay, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And so yes. they're, yeah, they're in the rhododendron family, which is the Washington State flower. And actually, if you can see, I will show. I don't know if you can see across the street, very brighter pink. Yeah, I flowers. can. I can. Very those good. are actually rhododendrons. So those, I think. So that's the difference between azaleas and rhododendron, or at least one. But you have to look up close because, like all over the Seattle Center, they have like both of them growing together. Yeah, no, it's yeah, Washington State flower. Um, yeah, no. Do they know that? That they're like loading up the garbage right outside the person who's paying them's window. Well, I know it doesn't. I know, I, I know. They have to put it where they have to put yeah, it. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I because get it. I, get it. I can see that when that the the truck that's going to come and pick it up mm. has to back up a certain way. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I get that. It's not really yeah. put it anywhere else. Yeah, it, no, I get that. It doesn't matter. It's fine. They're very good guy. They're very good. Good. They, they, they're. they're they're, they're very nice and uh, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It is what it is. So, so um, now we're also kind of getting ready to pack up, even though I will be recovering in the city for two weeks. Yes. Um, when those two weeks are up, when June is up, that they will probably, we'll have to clear everything out of that there for that renovation. Yeah. Um, and, can I, um, did I, have I, while you're packing things up, is it possible for me to have the Scully, for the Sean Scully to be here? Possibly, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, huh. absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. I, yeah, I, I And yeah, no, I got your text about. And you're the, going uh, to borrow, and you're going to lend it, right, to the show. Oh wait, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, when? Wait, when is it? No, you're going to ship it straight to the. When is the show? I don't, I don't know offhand. But no, I, how? I no, can can I guess? Can I have it after the show? I yes, guess. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, no, it makes sense to not. Yeah, not not. Yeah, not ship it here and back, but yeah, after yeah, the show. I, I, then then I then actually we. They they will ship it. They can they can pay to ship it to you. So that's mm -hmm. yeah, and they'll pack it and ship it properly. Yeah. Can I be petty and ask in the show that I get who, as far as ownership if they're claiming? Yes, like, absolutely. If get you want some name, credit yeah. for like it's owned by these people yes, and yes, I'm among yes. them. Um, yes, yes, yes. No, there'll be a loan form, and you can make out the loan form, and you can put down what you want. Right on. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, anything else in the world? Anything else going on with you? And well, the world. I know. You know no, I know. The world. You know, I've 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 dealt with the world this week because um, uh certainly when driving because I now have made, I have Sirius in the car mm -hmm. 
and I have now made uh, Real Jazz my main channel. So I'm no longer. I'm I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to go uh, cold turkey on CNN and yeah, CNN yeah. MSNBC. So I'm I, I'm getting uh, Blakey. I'm getting Mel Torme singing a Nightingale sings in Barclay Square. I'm getting some very good jazz singing I'd never really paid attention to. So yeah, and that 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 makes a bit of a difference in my world outlook. Um, <laughs> Can I tell a very random, very specific story? Yes. This goes back to like the 90s. I gave you a book. I think it was called All About Jazz. I think it was had a duct taped cover because it was like literally like dumpstered. Like I, but it was, I had figured out my dad listens to jazz. Like it was just like, to me, it was like a huge moment of personal growth. Like <laughs> I noticed this thing about my dad. I, I, I listened yeah. to him. I, you know, like, I don't know for as a, early grown up, early twenties or whatever. But yeah, no, so I I bought you, uh, no, I didn't I didn't buy, I found it. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, now that's <laughs> interesting because, because even when I would listen to, but the other channel I listen to is classic vinyl. Mm -hmm. And I'm noticing how many bands like Chicago, Blood, Sweat and Tears, actually had jazz had had a lot of oh, jazz no oh this is also oh, me at, at my age now like how much yeah how uh, it's very interesting and then you think that charlie watts like he's likes to play jazz more than rolling stones <laughs> right, no, right, right, right. yeah 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 um yeah so it's it's interesting because because jazz was my first love mu musically and mm -hmm. uh so I'm I'm kind of coming back around, but I'm but I'm broadening it because I'm listening to, you know, um, uh, uh, singers and uh, yeah that 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 era that although although there are some very good singers now I mean there are great people like uh, Win Winston Marsalis and oh and, for sure yeah. Very good. You mentioned that Stevie Wonder cover of the Barbara Streisand of People. That, People, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. So, you know, it's not it's not as compartmentalized. As... Right, no, that's the other, yeah, no, I mean, and, and, that, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are plenty of musicians who, who will obviously make their living or even be famous for a relatively limited approach or repertoire but but privately they 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 play a lot of other stuff too which is mm -hmm. interesting yeah 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 so i don't know what else is in the world i i uh um i don't know if i'm gonna watch the uh january 6 committee hearings i think it's gonna be a lot of I don't know, desk pounding and it, it's all. I mean, it's it's going to, no, I mean, it's going to give everyone viral moments. Everyone, I'm, I mean, again. Everyone, hate, yeah, that's true, yeah. I hate the, the term both sides because just the term makes everything both sides-y, but it's not, not. But yeah, everyone's going to get their moments that they can viralize for their base. Um, I mean, the same images, sometimes the same images and people just ping pong them back and forth. Like, who can meme it better? Those That picture of Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert, the right loves it as much as the left, but for different, I mean, it's-, it's, it's Yeah, exactly. Um, so I am, I am, however, I am supporting Stacey Abrams mm. against Kemp. I'm really sending her a little, little bit of money every once in a while. I think so, that's crucial. Can no, that is something and actually, you know, I you know I participate in a democratic happy hour, which is although I it's it's actually pretty left of center, but it's 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 still Democrats and they acknowledge like aspects of the party that are but one of the things that was interesting that was part of that was yes, donating outside of your own state and especially throughout the South and in places if you can afford just a couple of dollars it's not illegal and it's not immoral to donate to no, places I, where, um, you know,
because people there's nobody i can't big, help anybody on my state like my state is democrat i mean my state is basically democrat right I mean, no right P giving money to your candidates in your own state in a blue state right but and it's yeah no um stacy abrams also this is just i i, I I, I knew this already, but I was just re-reminded, and I just uh, put them on hold to the library. Stacey Abrams is a romance novel author. She's written about eight of them. They are all in print and reprint. Um, Selena Montgomery was her pen name, but now the cover, they all say Stacey Abrams in big letters on the cover. They're in reprint. Um, they're all about young, ambitious black women, and they, they're basically the adventures she wanted to write. Yeah, no, Stacey Abrams is so multidimensional, it's not even like, yeah. That's very interesting. I, I didn't know that. I, oh. I, 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 that will add a dimension to my uh, support for her. I, I like her. For, I mean, obviously, I think she's a fantastic politician. I also like her manner. I mean, I like her. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, she is, um, well, okay, spoilers. Uh, well, spoilers to Star Trek fans who are whatever that service is, and I don't even know. Um, appearing in the last episode of, I think it's Star Trek Discovery is the name of the show. She plays the president of the United Federation of Earth. Like she's, no yeah. yeah, no, actual Stacey Abrams, she's a Star Trek fan. They reached out. Oh, good. Yeah, she, she, yeah, no, she plays. Yeah. yeah um, another reason for another reason for the right to hate. Oh Hollywood. no, of course, and Star Trek. But they're gonna have to go way back and realize. Oh, Gene Roddenberry always he was he was the original like woke. Like if they're like if they hate. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he no, was. he was. No, he really, he was. really was. And like, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, and so William Shatner, who unfortunately I think has drifted pretty far right, <laughs> but him versus George Takai, happy pride again. Oh my, Takai, like George Takai is just like out there representing. Um, okay, um, no, just in the last few, okay, well, all right. Elon Musk quoting Johnny Rotten, talking about how awesome the right is now. It's just so, speaking of, Come on. I miss this. I completely oh. miss this. I mean, it's just so on the nose. Johnny Rotten, and you, you remember his, he wrote that memoir like 40 years ago that people were like, oh, this is really like, oh, that's how you turned in 20 years? Like you went from like real radical, but he was never that radical. He was always with, he was, he, he took the money and he was always. Johnny, Rot Johnny Rotten's roots, I'm sorry to say, uh, uh a a classic white male working class mm. relatively bigoted anti-immigrant i mean I, i'm sure oh, okay and so and it. so yes angry rant that unfortunately david bowie and eric clapton made in the 70s that i still i'm like oh, i'm so angry that they never quite gave the apology i can't fully enjoy them anymore because yeah, they didn't they didn't get over it they never got over it for me but that's but no but also the divergence of punk and that's actually exactly like where punk versus skinhead separated yeah where skinhead went very like oh working class and they wrap and exactly like in america they wrap themselves in flags so in america skinheads wore flags eagles yeah. in england they wore well flags um it's yeah and then punk, but th this is all post Sex Pistols. P Sex Pistols didn't, yeah, I mean, I mean, Sid Vicious wore like actual swastika t-shirts and like not ironically even, I don't even know what he thought. He just even, just for a larf, just for a, and they, but some people still try to ascribe that to all of punk, like, but it's all just, and the same thing with comedy. And you know, I love comedy. I love, but comedy is never about punching down. It's always about punching up. It's always about, fighting the establishment, same thing with punk, but people who are like top down trying to be like, but it's just, it's about freedom. It's not about the freedom to do anything. It's not about the freedom to be disrespectful or mean, or like, it's, it's about, again, fighting the establishment. And Johnny Rotten never knew that to begin with. So forget him, but not the Sex Pistols or Public Image Limited, which is the other band. He was like, not his music contribution. This is so hard. And so I don't personally listen to Kanye West, but I get why people continue to because it's part of a culture and it's like died in. So how do you like separate the art from the artist? But 
Yeah, I don't know. No, no, no. Uh, for for future discussion, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's a good topic. It's a good theme. But basically, no, the response to like Elon Musk, the best response to the Elon Musk retweeting Johnny Rotten was like, oh, whatever. He is UK's answer to Ted Nugent. He was relevant for one album 40 <laughs> years ago. Good. And like, kid rock, the kid rock. He's the kid yeah. rock of like, and yes, he still gets the Daily Mail to get, you know, publicize his, but whatever. Um, if we're still, no, if we're still talking pride, um, Linda Carter, so Wonder Woman, um yeah. my my wonder woman um yeah so someone said wonder woman is not gay or something and she said well actually she is and she <laughs> actually like, retweeted like from like one of the writers of wonder woman who is like here's a whole like and there's a whole yeah basically everyone involved in wonder woman canon is like yeah we celebrate pride marvel has issued like wonder woman with big and it's Again, oh, the whole corporatization of pride is a whole separate. I don't know what you you look look skeptical, but no, no, I would just no because what I was skeptical of was that anybody would think that a woman who was raised on the island of Lesbos with Amazons by Amazons is not gay. I mean, it's just like that that it's the it's the origin. What a woman's origin story is. Mm -hmm is women without men, right? So, Being and actually probably... Linda Carter's, yeah, no, and Linda Carter's specific tweet because, well, no, because obviously throughout the comic, she's been attached to many, many women was technically, was actually, she's a bisexual icon, which is, uh, which is, yes. Um, did, did I, did I tell you when I was, when I was going into, I, I got, I got one of these annoying emails for a doctor's visit mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. I had to, I had to to give all of this information, hmm. and they asked. Okay, but me, tell it again. Well, I thought it was very. I don't know why, because my options my options were only um, to be bisexual, to not say or don't know. <laughs> I and, feel like and, that and, must have been a glitch. But yeah, no, you meant. No, it that. was a glitch. It was a glitch because there were other glitches too but i thought that was the i thought i thought it was an interesting glitch i, I think it works i, I, I think like i said that works for me i think it works i think it works i think actually the government should do that <laughs> those should be the only choice on the social security <laughs> like don't yeah. oh just yeah don't know don't know. <laughs> All right. Don't know, don't care. <laughs> All right, last story, real quick. Okay. Because um, we had talked about, uh, oh, well, no, okay. And yeah, I basically said, oh, well, no. Hi, uh, this is. Agatha's Agatha, woken right? up. I, Agatha's woken up. Have you woken yeah, up? Yeah, Agatha. Hi, Agatha. Um, so, congratulations to New York for raising the age on uh, gun, uh, on assault rifles. Like, that's okay. a real positive. Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, maybe, maybe that's the last story. Um, no, okay, so recently they've decked out all the Queen stuff. We talked about, oh, I sent you the thing. Oh, it's the uh, Queen stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh. Some people are like, and, and just like when people, it goes back, it ping-pongs between the left and the right. Just like in New York, there was a, uh, it was, I think it was a police funeral. And I get, a funeral is something that should be respected. But New York went like hardcore with like all the like police, and like people respond to that, including Susan Sarandon, and then people like responded to that, like, how dare you disrespect the police? But it's really like these overt, it was the comparison to, and I, I always said like, I actually someone joked and it's, it, this is, yeah. Should there be a button on Twitter? Are you sure you want to compare this to Nazism? Because it like the left and the right, everyone goes so quickly to like, this is like, Hitler. This is like, and it's like, are you sure you want to compare this? But I don't know. Something with again, this is the conversation though. All the flags, people, and the, they compared them side by side. Like all, how how strong a show of patriotism? And as we're coming up on July, we're on June fourth, but a month from now, July fourth. How strong a show of patriotism is? I guess I don't know. 
Okay, here's my quick theory. Yeah, all right? we have a minute. We have one minute. Okay, my quick theory is that the American media loves the royal family. Americans love royal family. And so the news that we are getting here about the Jubilee is, is filtered through very positive. Now, I watch a, a, a sitcom, British sitcom, which is, which is called Kathy and Koji. It's about a cafe in the South Coast. The woman who plays Kathy, who's an actress who's very good, she plays a middle-aged woman with a sharp mouth. And the things that she says about the royal family and Prince Andrew, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. It's stuff I'm amazed by. Mm -hmm. And this is a TV show, and mm -hmm. it's it, you know it used to be that you could you never made fun you never oh ever no made. right no but right no you but they, I I think if you will oh well back to the Sex Pistols it said God Save the Queen but it was the number one song but they couldn't print it they just left it blank yes. on the chart yeah yes but you see now I think I think you I think there's a much 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 broader uh, uh, a coalition of 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 I, I don't think 